I don't think there's ever been a case across the country that has had as much transparency as this case and any other case that we have in our department right now. In just the last 24 hours, Sacramento police released their evidence in the Stefan Clark shooting. We're talking 672 pages and pictures, and for the first time, we're hearing from the officers in their own words. But transparency by itself doesn't fix what ails us. It helps people see as many facts as they possibly can without having have been there. Hey, show me your hands! Stop! Stop! So let's go back to that night and stop the video here. Officer McCoddle describes the moment he approached the corner of the house saying, I looked and based on the light coming off my tactical light, it appeared I thought that he already shot at me because I saw what I believe to be a metallic reflection or muzzle flash, something coming at me. So I was scared. I thought that he had shot at me. I think I remember yelling gun and I ducked. Let's show you that moment on video. Show me your gun! Show me your hands! Gun, gun, gun! So we saw that split second where he says, show me your hands, gun, and then he says, show me your hands again, and gun, gun, gun. We now know what the officer was thinking during that split second based on transcripts. The first thing I thought was, I was like, wow, that was stupid of me to come around the corner that fast, you know? And I remember thinking, I'm like, this guy's freaking shooting. I was like, is that a gun? He's shooting at me? And I was kind of surreal. Keep in mind the DA's office reviewed body camera video frame by frame and it showed something shimmer. It's now clear that was a cell phone. The second officer, Officer Robinette, says in his interview, I was scared. Like I say, I was scared he was sh going to shoot us. I really felt like that was a gun. His position, like I said, was something I recognized as a firing position from all the training and all the firearms training that I've been through in the last nine years. This is just some of the evidence that led to the Sacramento District Attorney and the State Attorney General to decide not to file criminal charges. But the AG did review 18 officer-involved shootings and came up with 49 recommendations for the department. One of those being SAC PD working on a policy that better defines and explains the requirement that force be used only when necessary.